Hallie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 610. If you like movies, I mean really like movies, the best thing you can do for yourself is save up the cash for a 1080p projector. You won't want to go to a movie theater again, except when you want to see something on opening weekend. Optima, or is it Optoma, is making 1080p more accessible by releasing its HD20 DLP projector for $1,000. It has a contrast ratio of 4,000 to 1 and 1,700 lumens of brightness. There's a 1080p in-focus projector I was recently looking at with similar specs at a slightly higher price, but it only has one HDMI port. The Optima HD20 has two. Unless you're adding an AV receiver or an HDMI switcher, you really need at least two. If you're shopping, there's also a Vivitech, the H1080FD at the same price point. The bulb on the Optima HD20 will last you from around 3,000 to 4,000 hours depending on the settings you use. Given a choice between a 46-inch 1080p LCD and a projector that will produce a sharp image bigger than 120 inches, I choose to project. We did go to a movie at a movie theater this weekend, and it wasn't because of IMAX or the usual feeling of geek obligation that gets us to leave the house. We went to see Julie and Julia, which is, I'm pretty darn certain, the first movie about blogging. If you don't know the premise, it's a film that tells two stories in parallel. One is about the iconic TV chef and cookbook author. The other is about a wannabe writer who started a blog on Sunday, August 25th, 2002, about cooking her way in a year through Julia Child's book, Mastering the Art of French Cooking cooking. Attention from the blog led to a book deal, and the book deal led to a movie deal, and it's a very, very good movie. If you have time, think about going to see it if you aren't already planning to. It matches much of what my experience with Geek Brief has been like, and I think if you see it, you'll have a very good understanding of how much I appreciate you guys for watching and commenting and emailing even when I can't keep up. Sony has a new Walkman that comes in an 8 gig version and a 16 gig version. It plays audio and video, has a built-in mic, and an FM tuner. Supported audio codecs include MP3, WMA, and AAC, while video formats include H.264, MP4, and WMV. Video is played at 30 frames per second on a 320 by 240, 2.4-inch screen. On the left and right sides of the screen, when it's in landscape position, is a left and right speaker. According to SonyInsider.com, audio and video can be dragged and dropped onto the player when it's connected to a PC. It's also iTunes and Windows Media Player compatible. We don't know when this will be out. Apparently, it accidentally showed up on a French website called Material.net, priced at 129 euros. Or Material. Material. That's probably more French. <laughs> One more. When we picked an AV receiver for our home theater project, we went with an Onkyo TX SR707, and we've been very happy with it. That was a few months ago, and today Onkyo announced that our receiver and the TX SR806 are being replaced with the TX NR807 and TX SR707. The NR807 brings network streaming. It's configured for Pandora, Rhapsody, and Sirius streaming. It can also stream music from networked PCs and DLNA devices. Alas, it isn't wired wireless, and suddenly I'm starting to realize that the media rack needs its own switcher. The NR807 has six HDMI inputs and upscales video to 1080p. It also supports Odyssey DSX 3D surround processing and Dolby Pro Logic 2Z, two new surround sound formats that expand the spatial dimensionality of games and movies. Each of the seven audio channels on the NR807 has 135 watts of power. The SR707 doesn't do the network streaming, and each of its seven audio channels outputs 100 watts. I know I already said one more, but as we were shooting, we got a tip that Google is letting people try out its new search algorithm. You can try it out at www.sandbox.google.com. This brief was brought to you by Squarespace.com. Squarespace is a very easy, inexpensive way to set up a website or blog. They host and manage all the technical stuff. If you start with Squarespace and then decide you want to move to WordPress or Blogger or TypePad, Squarespace will help. They'll help you move from one of the other platforms, too. My promo code GEEK will save you 12% when you sign up. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. Onkyo? I say Oinkyo. I don't think it's yeah, Oinkyo. Oinkyo. <laughs> but I think it's probably Onkyo. Onkyo, right? Okay. Yeah.